I'm gonna get a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh Jesus! I know. I, 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 there's a reason for this. I I saw this this past week. It's to put fine. It up. <laughs> it's fine. I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so um, I think okay. So. Uh, oh man! You when you edit this, you need to put my reaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and clip it and just like yeah. Um, so, okay. Uh, jokes aside, um, the there was a big thing that happened this past week, um, and it was the whole FCC, um, the the FCC ruling that happened uh, this past week. I believe it was on Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, it, there was a, there was it was, it was broadcasted live uh, in the morning, uh, and there were arguments uh, for and against it. Uh, it, I, it went three two in favor of the FCC uh, in regards to uh, killing the neutrality, uh, basically, basically opening up for companies who can now charge for, um, you know, higher speed lanes for people to download more um, or to. Uh, you know, possibly open up the possibilities of like, you know, if you like to use Twitter, it's going to be a charge now to use that. So, in this, and this affects a lot, it affects a lot of us, including uh, us, us here at MSP, as well as other uh, internet, uh, content providers or content makers as well. And it's, it's, it's a huge issue. Um, well, here, you know, just to kind of ease the tension, ease the, the, the stress and the worry, um, the, what the FCC ruled on, ruled on was the, uh, um, desire to repeal it mm -hmm. it's not repealed it has not been repealed yet um it still has to go to supreme court it still has to go through channels to make it official yes. the fcc didn't just turn off net neutrality on that vote that was just one step not a good step if, if the fcc like this is not gonna be like if the fcc gets stopped it'll be the it won't be the last time we hear about it but um but uh but yeah, like like it's not over. We're not losing. We're not losing stuff yet. And even if let's and and just to kind of ease tensions a little bit more, even if the um, the Supreme Court and whatnot to agree with the FCC and net neutrality goes away, um, this doesn't mean that you're stuck with an internet provider that's going to charge extra. Um, having this open does allow for companies to have easier access to become their own IPs. So you're going to have a little bit more uh, um, uh, competition within internet providers as a whole. And if Comcast decides to start charging and uh, giving you know bandwidth access to higher sites or what the fuck ever, or charging you as a consumer for that stuff, you have the like you're going to have better options to go to. Um, and hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go that way, but you know, I don't trust Comcast as far as I can throw them or Time Warner yeah, or, even, or, or like half these companies. But, yeah. um, uh, point I'm getting at is we all need to take a breath, not let it become something more than it is. And, uh, like not make it feel like that's the end of the internet. Yeah. It, it, it. It could be if if we if we let it. And the thing about that is like, yeah, it still has to go through the courts. Um, there's already multiple uh, state representatives who have went out there and saying like, hey, we're doing a uh, we're, we're, uh, a, a case lawsuit against this. Um, and like last I saw, like around like 18 states agreed to hop on this and agreed upon. Um, not to mention there was have been they've been. Uh, it's when it comes to what I've seen, uh, Washington State has said that we're gonna. We're going to we're going to protect our, our own interests. And we're going to not abide by the FCC rules, um, and we're going to keep our, our state uh, internet free, and that's what we're leaving. Um, so there's already a lot of pushback already from a lot of people. Um, Absolutely, yeah. That's, that's another aspect. Like, yeah, like the. Don't get me wrong. I'm a hundred percent behind net neutrality, but I do I do honestly feel that there's a little bit more, um, over the top reactions to it mm -hmm. than need to be mm -hmm. like we absolutely as as a internet faring society at this point need we absolutely need to understand the, the importance of net neutrality yes um 
we need to go to the extent of why it's important and the laws that were placed in 2010 and 2015. Like, there's a reason net neutrality is important. Yes, there's the slight potential that there might be more competition if net neutrality goes away. Uh, for places like Baltimore, for example, who can only have Comcast because Comcast is like a weird mon monopoly in, in Baltimore. But, um, uh, and it's not, it's not impossible for other companies to get into Baltimore. It's just really difficult. Um, so they don't even try. Uh, that being said, um, uh, if, if we are, if we, the, 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 the American people want the internet to be free, we need to be louder about it. Like as of right now, like Kamala Harris is, uh, that's her name, right? Uh, that's what fighting for it. Yeah. I don't, it's, I, it's, I, I, it was her in, um, Jessica something. Um, I know like the only women in the, in the, in the, in the FCC, uh, board, um, are fighting for the internet. Uh, the other three are not. Um, Right, right, right. So yeah, yeah. Like we have to, we have to back them up. We have to contact our, the people voting on it. We have to contact people that have a voice for us, our representatives, and let them know that we're not happy with it. Exactly. Let them know that we understand that we're not just like we want our internet, but we have to make them understand that we know what's going on, and we have to be calm about it. We can, we can be loud, we can be obnoxious about it, but we cannot sit there and just like you can't call your congressman. And start screaming over the phone because he won't listen or she won't listen. Right, definitely. Like, be reasonable, be thoughtful about it. Yeah. I, it, I'm saying this. I'm saying this on this podcast, and I swear to God, like it's it's gonna get to very few people. I know, I know, I, and I and I and I get it. But the thing, but your message is, uh, your message is pretty much the same message every other person has been saying regarding, hey, we need to, you know, so tell our representatives. We need to, you know, contact. You know who supports our our our, uh, our state, and you know tell you know pretty much the government like, hey, we want this to be a free thing, and we want this to be open for everybody, not just for uh, the, the few that will benefit this and the companies that can benefit off of this. Um, well, my 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 mom cracked me up because I was talking to her about it, and she was like, I, like the day that they were voting on it, because I was sitting on the couch next to her and I was reading just Twitter, <laughs> pretty much about it, mm -hmm. um, including your stuff. Uh, um, and I, you know, she's like, what's net neutrality? So I kind of explained it to her and she's like, well, if, you know, people are going to stop complaining about stuff on the internet, like, wouldn't you be happy, Greg? Cause you seem to just complain about people complaining. <laughs> and I was like, you're not wrong. You're not wrong in that regard, but I'd rather have the freedom. Uh, I'd rather have people have the freedom to complain and me complain about them than not. Because he will have no show. <laughs> There's that too. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, like, um, uh, you know, we've already had examples of companies trying to get away with doing things that, you know, getting rid of new neutrality would give them full access and freedom to do. Yeah. Uh, and I'm talking about, like, uh, game reviews or, or how news is provided to us. Like, yeah, shit like that would that's... be completely changed if that yeah. neutrality is gone. Yeah. It's, and, 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 you know, one of the biggest things that happened this year wouldn't have existed with net, without net neutrality. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm talking about, like, all these scumbags getting thrown out of, you know, office and, and the, the entertainment industry and whatnot. Like, like <sighs> that wouldn't have happened with, without net neutrality. Like, straight up, like, those yeah. voices would have been just as silenced as they were before the Internet. Exactly, exactly. Um Tying this back to games as far as like, you know, why <laughs> I mean not not to disclose that. Not to like you know, say like, well, you know, you know, there's some you know, the Titus. I'm not, no, no, not, I just I just like I just like how you're like, well we're podcast, Greg. What the fuck are you doing? No, it's really funny. Um but what I'm trying to say is like kinda of tying this back to to you know, the game industry and the game at large, like you think it's bad already when it comes to day one patches to some games that you're able to download off your internet. Well, let's, you know, how this affects it as far as like, okay, so if you say you're on Comcast and say that Comcast is like, oh, you got to pay extra if you want to be on a higher speed 
uh, internet than the one you're on right now, which um, to argue they kind of are right now doing it already, but even more so. It's it's not it's not it's not so much that it's more to the extent of like charging us for things. So, oh, you want to use YouTube? Well, you got to pay a nominal fee. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's it's less it's less you know like charging us for higher speeds and higher bandwidths and more charging us just to use pieces of the internet. Yeah. And not to mention like if somebody if some if, if a game reviewer is trying to review a multiplayer based game um and say that whatever connection he has to the internet and whatever that they give him um, right isn't quite supported or say that it's um want to get better if you pay more when it comes to a said company. <sighs> Then it really affects, you know, how he reviews games. It affects the user experience for a lot of people as well. Um, where, you know, it doesn't matter what type of internet you may or may not have. It just will be just complete, like, uh, user, ex you know, you just be aware. Like, you know, your experience may not be the same as everybody else. But here's my review, I think, of, of this game. Um, so there's a, definitely a lot of factors that will affect a lot of people when it comes to the to this bullying um, and obviously, as we said before, it is not done yet. There's obviously still a lot, a lot more process to go for or to, to take care of. Um, but you can already you can already see with some of the backlash from a lot of people, including this video which you see behind us, which is for those listening at home, what's going on? It's basically a uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, Valera. Yeah, the uh, uh, slow slow and fast lanes um, would be a big thing too. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, for, for those wondering in the chat, well, they're saying like the amount of online media companies that uh, the ISPs own is vast. Verizon has Oath, A1 y Yahoo, which uh, which things like Huffington Post, uh, Tumblr, and so on. So there's definitely there's definitely a huge ram ram ramification when it comes to um, what this. God, really God if if fucking Tumblr was the only place I could get, get good fan art, that would be Oof, awful. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. So. Um, yeah, it, it just comes down to just contact your representatives and make sure you get your voices heard. Um, I'm not sure when exactly they're they're doing the. Uh, uh, it's the next, next year time. sometime. Is it next it's year? Next year? Yeah, it's next year sometime. I just don't know when. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, more than likely, if if you guys are on Twitter or on, on other social media, you'll probably will be notified some one way or another. Um, yeah, but also the note, this guy that's that that. His head is on uh, 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 this other guy that's getting beat up. Like, I, this guy, either he's really embracing the, 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 the main villain role in all this, but... Oh, R.J. Pyatt? Yeah, like, he is definitely just... I think that's what his name? Yeah, like, he is definitely just like, hey... You saw the video that he made where he was trying to be, like, hip, right? Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> oh, my God. It, I mean, for me, it was hilarious because of how bad it was, and I yeah. like just terrible things, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, like that was like, that was a perfect example of how do you do fellow kids? Mm -hmm. Like it was hilariously awful. Mm -hmm. It was funny too. Cause like was shortly afterwards, the guy who owned that song in that video was like, I'm going to, uh, put a content ID on that one. So you won't make any money off of it or to take it down. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, Hey, I don't want you making any money or anything and whatever I can to stop you. I will. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems like he is like, at least when it comes to the internet, he is the most hated, hated man right now. Um, because he's taking away all the stuff he wants. So, yeah, you know, like, you know, Valera's pointing out a lot of like, these big industry or these big companies that own websites yeah. that's just straight up own websites and yeah. how that could absolutely be affected if net neutrality is gone. Yeah. I kind of wonder what happened to us, honestly, like would, would people like in order to get to our website, we had to pay extra like from an ISP to do that. Uh, it would depend. So like who owns Webly? Oh, uh, I have no idea. I know it's based in San Francisco. So um, uh, who and who and who did we buy the IP from? Oh, GoDaddy. So okay, so who owns GoDaddy? We'd have to look at those two factors and then figure it out. Ah, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Also, then we would have to pay extra to keep the site up. Then at that point, if if those two websites, you know, like those two websites could be completely buried, like it that's would have true. that, like that, that's all aspect. So that's true. Um, I, you know, it would, it would really just depend on, on, on the, on the internet providers. It would depend on the, um, 
the the companies that own different websites and things like that like you know we could only hope that if net neutrality does go through or the end of net neutrality goes through that these companies wouldn't do that but it's also like oh they're companies they're giant corporations of course they're going to do whatever can line their pockets for yeah but also you have to keep in mind on that entirely same note like if net neutrality ends and we have to go that route like just straight up like don't don't pay for the stuff prove to them that you aren't interested in paying extra for what was already free okay gotcha also we really got funded by tencent really huh that's interesting so i guess we please part of okay that's cool there you go all right all right so moving on